gentlemen. Welcome to another Red Hat Consulting whiteboarding video. My name is Austin Dewey. This is Jacob Lindgren, and we're both consultants here at Red Hat. Today we'll be talking about how to automate your application deployment on OpenShift using Ansible. Ansible is a leading configuration management tool, and OpenShift is Red Hat's platform as a service. So with that, Jacob, uh, would you like to explain what we have on the board today? Sure, so up here we have illustrated an uh, OpenShift project that my team and I are working on right now. And as you can see, there are a lot of resources within this project. Um, OpenShift has several different types of resources and the number of those can just increase exponentially with the size of the project. The problem that we're running into is that creating this in, in a new project is just so unruly because we have to just do OC create with the resource YAML file. As you can see, we have nine different times we have to do that right now. Is there any way we can make that a little easier on us? Yeah, absolutely. So what I would recommend for you is to leverage OpenShift templates. Uh, so what an OpenShift template will do is it will encapsulate all these different resources for you. And it looks like you only have nine here, but some more complex applications can have upwards of 12, 15 different resources. So uh, by leveraging an Ansible temp or sorry, an OpenShift template, uh, you can you know de deploy this application in one action as opposed to however many different YAML files you have. So see, we actually already tried that ironically. So the problem there is that we have three different environments and each environment's configuration varies just a little bit. And we ran into an issue where someone grabbed the wrong template, ran it in the wrong environment, and then completely mucked it up and we all know how fun that is. So is there any way we can retain the control that we have with the YAML files while still having the convenience of OpenShift templates? Yeah, absolutely. So it sounds like you need a little bit more flexibility than what an OpenShift template will, will allow for you. So uh, this is really where Ansible and the OpenShift Applier come in handy. So the OpenShift Applier is an Ansible role created by the Red Hat COP. And while it still applies OpenShift templates, uh, the real flexibility comes in with Ansible. Um, so you can specify different, different uh, group bars. And in those group bars, I can say, you know, I want, I want these different, different variables with these particular values. Uh, whereas in my test cluster, I want slightly different uh, values for these variables. Um, so an administrator doesn't have, to, doesn't have to remember what these different uh, values are. Uh, he can just say, hey, um, you know, hey Ansible, I want to deploy this application with, uh, you know, to this particular cluster. Uh, Ansible will do all the heavy lifting for you. Okay, that actually sounds perfect for what we're using. And I heard you say it's an Ansible role, so I can install that with Ansible Galaxy, and it should be pretty easy to get going. But I would like to know where the documentation is for this so we can get going right away. Yeah, so to start implementing some of these practices, uh, visit redhat.com slash services to learn more about how our consulting services can help you uh, or speak to your existing account representative. Thank you. Thanks.